Imagine taking a DNA test and discovering your closest living relative isn't who you thought, but someone completely unexpected. That's exactly what happened when scientists looked at the family tree of whales. These ocean giants aren't closely related to fish or other marine mammals as you might expect, but to hippos. This surprising family connection was only confirmed in the 1990s through DNA analysis. Before this genetic evidence, scientists were baffled by whale ancestry, often linking them to extinct wolf-like predators called mesonychids. But the molecular clock doesn't lie. About 55 million years ago, a common ancestor, a small four-legged hoofed mammal that likely looked something like today's mouse deer, gave rise to two evolutionary branches. One would eventually become hippos, while the other returned to the sea, evolving into whales. The whale's journey back to water is one of evolution's most dramatic transformations. Fossils tell this incredible story. Pacasitas, a wolf-sized creature from 50 million years ago, represents one of the earliest whale ancestors. It lived near water, but still walked on land. Just a few million years later came Ambulocetus, nicknamed the walking whale. With each passing million years, these proto-whales became more aquatic. Their nostrils gradually migrated to the top of their heads, becoming blowholes. Despite their radically different appearances today, hippos and whales still share distinctive anatomical features. Both can close their ears underwater with specialized valves, have similar multi-chambered stomachs, and lack certain hair follicles. Interestingly, despite spending most of their time in water, hippos can't actually swim. They push off the riverbed and float or walk underwater. This unexpected family tale reminds us that appearances can be deceiving. Evolution doesn't always follow predictable paths. It's humbling to realize that the massive blue whale, the largest animal to ever exist, shares a close cousin in the hippo through a tiny common ancestor from the distant past. Next time you see these seemingly different creatures, remember, family reunions might be awkward, but they're still family separated by 50 million years of evolutionary distance.